everybody, I'm your man Dennis Pitzenberger here, PRI, and I'm in the ATI booth with my man JC. As always, it's every single year you reinvent the mousetrap with new products, dealing with new cars. What do you got cooking this year? Well, you know, we don't like to sit still, and we like to take our products and put them where we think they're needed. Not just to make parts, but to help racers and make things better. So the 2020 Supra, as I think everybody watching this would know, is out in full force. Uh, you couldn't pass one at SEMA anywhere. So we were able to get the damper incorporated onto that. It's a BMW motor, straight six. So they continue with the Supra heritage and the straight six. And it's really cool because the BMW technology is awesome. And now it's in the hands of us. You know, not, not me, but all, everybody that's watching this video, everybody at this show, and they can really take that awesome engineering and start doing cool things. Uh, they're already making a 1,000 horsepower with one of those motors. So the need to get away from the factory damper is already there. And to have, you know, your factory dampers are tuned within a small window and where the engine is supposed to operate. So with our damper, we can cover a huge window. And at, the, at that point, the engine's safe all the way through the RPM range. All right, let's dive a little bit more into that because it's what the car was intended is to be a great street car. You've helped guys control that power when they're already, as you said, building a thousand horsepower. Yeah, you know, the, for us, who leaves their street car alone anymore? If we get a call that, uh, well, I've got a thousand horsepower motor, I have to ask, is that a street car or a race car? Uh, we have a thousand horsepower ZL1 Camaro that uh, Redline Performance put together the blower and everything for us and we use it. It's got our damper on it, it's got a front drive kit. Uh, we did a torque converter for it and we're trying to kill the transmission. So street car or not, uh, the abuse gets uh, gets done to these vehicles and the damper does its job to keep the crankshaft alive. So it's no fun breaking cranks. From one end of the spectrum to the other, we've gone from street car, now let's go completely the other way and talk pro mod and breaking cranks and that's never something you wanna hear. Yeah, so we, uh, just like with street cars, no fun to break a crank, and it's not with a real expensive pro mod or top fuel style crank. So we had a, a customer call, and we haven't had a real supercharger application for serious, you know, NHRA pro mods, uh, uh, NMRA and NMCA, and all those different classes. We just haven't had anything for them. So we did some testing with, with a, a serious pro mod guy that was hurting cranks every seven to nine runs. We just simply got a damper inside his blower pulley. And from there, after almost 50 runs, he stopped checking in with us and we knew that it was needed and working. Again, we're not just gonna put something out there that may or may not do its job. So once we had the proof of concept and we knew it worked, we took our regular super damper technology and we've integrated it inside a billet 2024 blower pulley. We'll have your, your various sizes, let's say from 63 to 73 teeth. You can build your magnets in. We can do titanium splined hubs or regular steel hubs bearing support or no bearing support. And uh, you, you'll be able to swap a damper shell off and on is also your lower blower pulley. And the benefits of a damper usually aren't seen until you put one on when you haven't had one. Guys that can't afford parts and can't cycle parts out will realize a longer part life. And the teams that can afford to do everything to cycle out parts will be able to push the same parts harder without the failures. You know, something like a top fuel car runs so close to hydrolocked all the time that we may be able to run a little bit closer because you're controlling the valve and the entire valve train that much more without the crank twisting. That's the thing that always impresses me about ATI is not only the end product, but as you put it just now, from proof of concept into the part on the shelf, or in this case, in the car. That's the part I want to dive into right now. What is that process? How do you go through that, especially whether it's a streetcar application like we just talked about with the new Supra, or even something as wild and crazy as a Promon? You know, we try to do a lot of that with our own testing, either with a car we sponsor, like Chris Chris Rainey and his Pro Nitrous car, that's a 3.63, 206 mile an hour car. Uh, Chris tests some parts, he doesn't know we're in there sometimes, but hey, that, that comes with having our name on the door, uh, right down through stockers and super stockers in our own car. So sometimes we'll get an idea and I'll try it in my car. If it's gonna break, I want it to break in mine. If it's gonna do well, I, I wanna find out, but then I wanna put it in somebody else's hand because we can't do everything and test everything. So in this case, uh, a serious pro mod team came to us with a problem and we said, hey, 
I don't know that we can help you, but this is what we can try. And lo and behold, this one's working well, so we can go with it and take that theory and idea and incorporate it into a package that anybody, anyone can buy and bolt on. And you know what, it, it's gonna be one of those parts, it, it's like safety equipment. You can't spend enough on a helmet. Well, this is gonna be like our regular dampers. It's not gonna be overpriced and it'll simply do its job. Well, once again, proving that you will take on any project for any type of car and build a better mousetrap. It's something that makes me just want to buy the products, and I have, and I have them on my cars. And if people want your products on their cars, they want more information, or for that matter, if they have a challenge for you to develop, where do we find you? How do we get a hold of you? How do we get our hands on the product? Hey, ATIRacing.com. Uh, we've had the same phone number for over 40 years now. Facebook, we try to post some stuff, and of course, Instagram, but give us a call, talk to our guys. We don't have sales guys, we have, we have guys that race that really know the product and know the sport. And if we don't have an answer, we'll find it for you. You heard the man, if you want the answers from real racers and real people, you know where to go, ATIRacing.com. This is the PRI Show, Indianapolis, Indiana.